Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Lippert crank handle which will connect to the Lippert spare tire winch. First and foremost, uh, this is going to be used for a couple of different reasons, at least that I can think of. One of them being a replacement. Let's say if your uh, camper or trailer or whatever you got was uh, already equipped with a Lippert spare tire winch and for whatever reason this got damaged it's direct replacement i don't really see that happening because i mean i don't i don't really understand how this could get damaged but i mean crazy things do happen so if that's what you're looking for that's your situation you're covered with it but i feel like this will be more so used when you add a lippert spare tire winch and that's exactly what we did today underneath of our motor home we did away with the old one it was just a a wing nut and bolt and kind of a big pain to, to use and, and everything else so we upgraded to this and whenever you get this it does not come with the rod to uh, allow you to turn it to actually operate the spare tire winch so uh, this is going to slide right on the end of it and there's going to be a hole in it that lines up with the shaft coming out of your winch and that's how you're going to connect the two so uh, I used a cotter pin to pair the two together. Kind of a bummer, it doesn't come with the cotter pin because I feel like that's what most people are going to do. Um, I feel like it'd be a nice touch, you know, because even if you were replacing it, you'd probably want to put a new cotter pin in, right? Um, so if you need one, you can always grab it here at each trailer. We got a bunch of them. Uh, you can also weld it if you wanted to, put a tack weld on there. You know, don't really matter. I'd probably use the pen still. That way, if you did ever have to uh, change it out, you could easily take it apart. But uh, with that said, this is gonna run, in our case, to the back of our motor home where we can get our tool on it to actually able, allow us to turn, up, turn this and work our winch. The overall length of this is going to be uh, 35 and a half inches. That doesn't mean you can't cut it down though. Let's say if all you needed was a like a foot, you could cut it and then obviously re-drill a small hole there to line up with the hole in your uh, winch shaft to put the cotter pin in. So it is somewhat customizable. Uh, I do want to mention it's not going to come with any supports or anything. This is something that I made just to brag with the hole to keep this supported since it is so long. Um, just, just throwing that out there. But at the very end of it, we're going to have a hexagon shape and that's going to be uh, three quarters in size so a three quarter inch socket six point socket will fit right over this and you can operate it uh, and use a you know a four-way or your socket and breaker bar or whatever to turn this or you can always pick up the tool that's designed to fit over this and uh, operate your spare tire winch so this is that tool i was talking about um, has that three quarter inch uh, socket essentially just welded onto it and that's going to allow you to put that through onto our piece there and rotate this and either uh, either raise or lower our tire there. Other than that though, you know, at the end of the day, uh, this is, like I said before, a good replacement part or honestly almost a must have for those of you that plan on adding the Lippert uh, spare tire winch. And that'll finish up our look at of the Lippert crank handle for the Lippert spare tire winch.